We're back in Dark Souls 3 because my girlfriend has some unfinished business with the Ringed City. If you haven't seen how her visit to the Painted World of Arendelle went, be sure to check it out. She's gotten pretty good at these games since we got her hooked way back when with Dark Souls 1, but facing off with Sister Freed was a humbling experience to say the least. Oh my god! The real question is whether or not something even worse is waiting for her in Dark Souls 3's final DLC, The Ringed City. Something I'm not sure I articulated very well in our previous video was that my girlfriend did not have access to online play during her playthrough of Dark Souls 2 and 3. Due to an exploit, the servers were taken down sometime in January, and we hadn't expected them to stay down as long as they did. Of course, just after we released our video, the servers came back online and all the multiplayer shenanigans along with them. <laughs> oh my god, you just like fucking broke my neck! We had a lot of fun with multiplayer in Elden Ring, so I was disappointed when we didn't get to include any PvP and Dark Souls date night shenanigans in our first video. Fortunately, the DLCs gave us another chance. I was invited! Elden Ring PvP sucks! One hilarious thing to add is that because online play was back in the mix, player messages were on the ground again. Like I mentioned, she didn't have them in Dark Souls 2 and 3, so she kind of forgot that not all of them are meant to be unhelpful. What she did remember was that she should never trust them. Now that they were back, she was extremely suspicious of all of them, and hysterically enough, she confused the ones from Gale telling her to take the plunge with the usual trolls telling her to try jumping. Take the plunge. Is this gonna kill me? Oh! What the hell? How did I not just die? Of course, she's not wrong to be mistrusting of so-called helpful advice. You never know who's gonna stab you in the back for a cheap laugh. Wait, am I supposed to jump? Take the plunge, you won't die. Oh my gosh, is that what it's saying? Okay. I've jumped. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I'm not gonna say the only reason she agreed to play these two DLCs was for fashion souls, but... Yeah, pretty much the main reason she played the DLCs was for Fashion Souls. By the time she'd reached the end of the drag heap, she'd encountered a desert pyromancer, so she knew she was in the right place. Nice! Woo! The titties are mine. Wait. Did I get an outfit thing? Oh, this is so good. I feel like this is gonna be my little outfit for a while. I am digging this. Once she was happy with her new outfit, it was finally time for the first boss of the DLC. Take the plunge, you won't die. Let's give it a try. Ah! Oh my god! This was a bad idea! I didn't die. Oh my god, this is a boss fight! Oh my god, there's two of them, okay. This is chaos! Oh shit, 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 shit! Oh, I was so lucky! I'm pissed, they're pissed, we're all pissed. I don't think I'm sh I should be turning my back. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah, let's go! Yes! Can't really see it, but I did it! Nice. Wait, why is he still locked on? Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's getting back up. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Luckily, she can't stay mad for long. It seems like most people whittle down both demons evenly depending on which one is being the most aggressive. Although it's not quite the same as Ornstein and Smo because you have to defeat them both. She picked up on how you could get a repost off after staggering, which was both a good and a bad thing. On the one hand, it was how she was dealing most of the damage to them. On the other, she became overly aggressive because landing criticals just feels too good. Yes, and doesn't even matter because I'm fucking invincible! I'm fucking invincible! Fuck you! Yes! Oh, so good. Yes! 
okay. Oh, sit down. No. Okay. Get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. No. Stay down. Stay down. Yeah, that was frustrating to watch. I think we've all been there at one time or another, but the most important rule of souls is to never make the same mistake twice. Oh, he's so close. Okay. I got him! Oh my God, I got him! With the demons behind her, she'd finally overcome every boss with an additional health bar. There are no tricky third phases hiding behind titanite slabs. From here on out, what you see is what you get in terms of boss health. Of course, she had to find them first. And the Ring City pulls no punches on newcomers. Whoa! Everything got yellow. Okay. Oh my gosh. What? <gasps> A bunch of things just spawned and they all have bows! Oh my god, how the... What? Ah! Why would they not attach it to the building? <laughs> oh my god! It's just like going all over again. <laughs> oh! There's a dragon! Oh my god! Oh! I want all the shinies, but I don't have time to pick them up. Oh no. He just fucking like linebackered me. Oh my god! That was evil. Nice. Sit down, bitch. Am I the firekeeper now? <laughs> it's not quiet, but it's kind of stuff. Oh my god. What the hell? He's pissed! Ah! Hide, 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 hide. Oh my god. Spot seems decent. <laughs> I cannot tell what's going on. Oh my god, did I get him? Oh my god, okay. Yeah! Woo! Get out of here! from that? What a jip! The Spears of the Church boss fight is kind of a weird one to talk about. It's a neat concept, but it totally went over my girlfriend's head. I almost wish I hadn't told her that she was fighting an actual player because I honest to God wasn't expecting her to beat the first guy who spawned in. It wasn't like he let her win or anything, he gave her a good fight. It's just funny to me that she was playing so much better when she just thought this was another NPC. As soon as she realized there was another human on the other side of those inputs, she got super intimidated. So I'm actually fighting another player right now? What would have happened if I had done this before having the things back. There's like a, um, in case there's no one, there's, there's like a NPC. Shit! Well, this is like the hardest boss fight of my life then! Nah, it won't be that bad. He's like the spear of the church using literal spears. That's pretty cool. Yes! Oh my god, I was really nervous. PvP. After having a little taste of PvP with Half Light and more or less completing her build, it seemed like as good a time as any to throw some punches with each other. Oh my god! 
<laughs> I use the term build kind of generously here. For you and I, the term refers to how we allocate our stats and what weapon infusions we use. You might run a couple sorceries or miracles or maybe even an offhand weapon. For her, a build is more just switching up her outfits and swinging around all the different great hammers in the game. She's been running around with 40 strength and endurance the entire game, and she's not about to change things up now. Freed, bring me my flail. Bring me my flail. <laughs> oh, bring, bring me my flail. With that said, fighting each other is some of the most fun I've had with these games, and I really think her idiosyncratic approach to them is part of what makes it fun. Take for example when I get summoned as a red phantom. I'm used to spawning in at a random location and just running to where the fight club is and fighting whoever summoned me. But with her, half the battle's just trying to find her. She's maybe not the best souls PvPer, but she definitely deserves some kind of distinction for being the best souls hide and seeker. Okay, where the hell are you? <laughs> Hi! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good hiding spot, honestly. Oh, thanks! What?! Oh my god! <laughs> Fire and ice, baby! That one hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That was great. That was awesome. <laughs> there he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's looking at us like, what the hell? <laughs> He's really sure what to do. <laughs> this guy's <is> probably so <laughs> frustrated with you. <laughs> Oh Why? Because I'm just rolling. Because <laughs> you won't fight back. You just roll around. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Bye! <laughs> Thanks for playing. <laughs> that poor guy. Probably so confused. Apparently I'm being summoned to another world. <gasps> I'm invading as the spear of the church. Oh shit, I'm someone's boss fight. Yeah, they're gonna be really disappointed. That's not true. Put up a good fight. I'm gonna put up a Show really good fight. Show them what's up. I'm the boss. It's a who? Wait, so which one am I killing? This guy? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I running away? <laughs> You're supposed to be fighting, not running. <laughs> I got backstabbed. This is so fun! Nice. Hit him. Hit him again. Hit him again! Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was amazing. Good job. Thank you! Anyways, with that slight distraction out of the way, it's high time we get back to what was waiting for her at the top of the church. Why did we touch something that's not ours? Whoa! What the fuck? <gasps> what? Still here? <laughs> and did hope that thing, your dark soul. <gasps> Despite being another tough three-phase fight, my girlfriend had to give Gale some credit. He only has a single health bar after all. It's a bit on the bulky side, but hey, that's what she asked for, right? I think the last time she fought a boss with only one health bar was the Dragon Slayer armor, which ironically she actually ran into during this DLC. What the hell? What are you doing here? 
One thing that consistently messed her up throughout all of Dark Souls 3 was she couldn't see a damn thing behind her hammer. I've only pointed out to her about a million times, but no matter how often I do, she seems hell-bent on having that big drum in her face all the time. Of all the bosses she faced, it was Gale who had her the closest to finally cheating on Simone. Whenever he dived at her, it was like he disappeared into the sun. He'd be completely hidden by the hammerhead, and the next thing you know, she'd get skewered. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I get it, I'm dead. You can lead a girlfriend to water, but you can't make her drink. Oh shit. <gasps> Wait, he's standing! Oh no. <laughs> he looks so cool and scary. Oh no, he's slow walking towards me. Shit, I only have like five S's. Oh my god! I don't like that. Oh my god! No, what? Oh, I think I did a two. I tried to go for two hits, and I think that fucked me up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who said it was over? My girlfriend has one final challenge waiting for her all the way at the bottom of the ring city. Take the plunge. Whee! <gasps> <gasps> Wait, that's the dragon I like pushed off. <gasps> I knew it! I killed him! Oh fuck. Aggro! Oh no, this is gonna be a long fight. <laughs> Tired. He's not tired anymore. <laughs> Ooh, second phase.
got me. I hate this fucking laser. Okay. Yeah! Okay. Did I get him? Did I get him? Okay, now she's done. Oh my god, okay, there's no more, there's not like a, another mimic or... Ah!